Are you wondering how real estate investors assess market conditions when buying, leasing, and selling property? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the absorption rate to gauge your market's health so you can make better, more educated real estate decisions. So make sure you hit the subscribe button right now so you don't miss more videos about building wealth through multifamily real estate. And if you don't know me, I'm Seth Ferguson, a 12-year real estate veteran, real estate TV show host, real estate investing podcast host, and the author of the real estate book, Sell For More. So let's get right into it and talk about how you can use the absorption rate to make better real estate decisions. We've all heard terms thrown around like buyer's market, seller's market, and balance market. And as real estate investors, it's so important for us to have our finger on the market's pulse. So we know if we have to offer rental incentives or if we should push rents or on the selling side is now a good time to sell our property or should we consider acquiring more real estate and this is where the absorption rate calculation comes in because it's going to tell us how quickly product is being absorbed or leased or sold in a given market and it's going to tell us who has the advantage in negotiations and the absorption rate formula is very simple and i'm going to show you two examples one for buying and selling and one for leasing uh, property even though it is exactly the same uh, so what we do for the selling side if we're looking at buying or selling property we're going to take the total number of available properties and we're going to divide it by the average number of sales per month and that's going to give us how much inventory is remaining same thing with leasing the total number of units available for lease or rent and we're going to divide it by the average number of units rented so let's say uh, if we're looking at buying and selling property uh, there's a hundred uh, properties listed for sale right now and 25 properties on, on average are sold every month so we have 100 divided by 25 and, so, and that's going to give us four months worth of inventory so what the what the absorption rate is telling us is if no new product hit the market it would take four months for all of that current inventory to be absorbed or sold into the market and this is where this uh, this becomes important let's say this is the market timeline right here at six months worth of inventory around six months worth of inventory we have balanced market conditions prices don't go up prices don't go down everything's very flat and stable but if we have less than six months worth of inventory so with this example four months we would be more on the seller side of the market because there is there is less product hitting the market and uh, the product is being absorbed or sold into the market at a much quicker rate but on the reverse side if the absorption rate if we have more than six months worth of inventory there's going to be more inventory flooding the market uh, a lot quicker than it's being absorbed so the buyer's going to have more advantage and the same thing the same thing applies when you're leasing property if there's more product hitting more more rental units hitting the market well obviously uh, you're going to have incentives uh, to lure or attract tenants into your property and on the reverse side if you have a more landlord favorable conditions with a very uh, low absorption rate uh, then uh, you're going to have uh, landlords pushing rents, very low vacancy, etc. And this is so important because every time I'm looking at a uh, real estate market, I'm always looking at the absorption rate. I want to know how quickly product is being absorbed so I can make better real estate decisions. If you want to learn more about the real estate investment deals I'm currently looking at, head on over to callseth.com and hop on a quick 20-minute uh, phone call with me so I can learn more about your real estate investing goals. And if you like this video, if you thought it was beneficial, uh, hit the like button, leave a comment, let me know what you think, and until next time, happy investing.